those of you who had to go see my movie to understand the story that I had told you not too long earlier. For those of you who had followed my message to the king of Saudi Arabia earlier and did not understand until you had seen my movie that what I spoke of was real and ongoing and that I really am the G.I. Joe, known as Skydives! And I am the commander of the people of Cobra. Greetings, ladies. It is I, your evil creator. Or, no, one of them. Oh, sorry. Almost forgot. Ooh. Sorry. Ta-da! Or, you know, whatever. Look. It's me! Snake Eyes! You almost didn't notice me with the, the, the red there, the, you know, uh, because everyone's got it confused. See, <clears throat> Snake Eyes transforms. Snake Eyes is a transformer. Or, you know, whatever. I mean, it's really transmutation, but... It's beside the point. The point is that when Snake Eyes rises, right, then you don't see the trim or whatever. So you see, it's moving. It's doing something, you know? The symbols and all that. I got it figured out. Right? Anyway. Enough about me. More about you ladies. <clears throat> so. I am starting a new harem over there in the Middle East. Okay? And it's going to be a big deal. You know, or whatever. So. Being a big deal, you gotta have good security. That makes sense. And that everyone, uh, no matter who they are, can tolerate. So, I'm gonna hire an all women ninjas for a new harm security force. <coughs> Basically, I need an army of ninja warrior women. There's not too many places I can get it. Japan currently. Recruiting from there is off limits due to Scott. Yeah, definitely Scott. Everyone's got it all confused. It's not Dr. Evil. Anyway, um, <clears throat> moving on. Are you a ninja woman? Have you had Cobra perform?
performed upon you. Well then, consider making Destrobo and Destro your strange creators in Oklahoma, that's very important, and Connecticut, slightly important, possibly later more important, but Oklahoma's more important, you know, um, and I'm also associating with Iranian ninja women. So, for anyone, I don't care what dimension you're from, put those two things together, they are real, and then wonder how the hell did it happen. Uh, I'll explain all of that, uh, you know, now, because it's too ridiculous and it's going to end really badly if the right thing isn't done. <laughs> Sorry, this is, this is, uh, this is hilarious. Um, but not, not really. Um, but only to me. Everybody else is going to be like, um, is this even considered a mistake? The answer is no. Because... I am actually in need of a giant ninja army. It just so happens to be conveniently uh, made out of women. Oh my god, this is going to be so dope. So, how about it, ladies? I think that the benefits long term you might consider to be the best investment for all parties concerned. Here's what I'm thinking. My people and I are currently conducting final thought experiments for mind transference technology. A cheap immortality. However, my cheap immortality is better than everybody else is not any immortality or plan to. So, being my bodyguards, Close access to the best shit never tried, except for by us, obviously. And you'll be really cool, and you'll be really smarter than everybody else. Probably some of the first people, anyway. But you're not. Just keep that in mind. So, moving on. I, your actual weird creator, I'm Snake Eyes. I have a movie. It is currently related to the transfer of my uh, nuclear weapons, similar to the ones that were seized in Vietnam. Which, by the way, uh, you can also play. The backstory, sort of, um, you know, obviously it's been made into a video game because, you know, I'm obviously the good guy here. And, um, it explains where the nukes came from that are currently being transferred. And, also, it explains what Japan has to do with me. But it doesn't explain why Mr. Sushi is trying to kill me. That is explained by the secret message in a real ninja movie involving your actual creator. Okay. Obviously, 
you have to ask yourself, why should you choose G.I. Joe Snake Eyes as your sensei? I'm on the other side of the world. Well, obviously the first reason is, well, I am, uh, you know, I am essentially your creator. And I have a direct link to your other creator. Together, we essentially are the reason that you exist. If we weren't doing whatever different things that we were doing at that particular time, then you would not exist. Okay, then I'll recap that a little, little, little later. But here's this. First, I am a former Soviet conscript assassin. Baba. Or the kid. Or Yaga the Naga. Uh, it's, it's, it's supposed to be a play on, I'm really fucking smart, but I am a kid. There's a, 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 a TV series from the 80s called Dragon Ball, it's about me, and then my evil side as to why I'm so smart and unstoppable, or whatever, that's not really what was being displayed there, it was about a crazy story that happened because I existed. Uh, and it was just so unbelievable because it paralleled uh, the connection between uh, Japan and China and how strong it actually is and important uh, it is. Because uh, uh, China found my UFO plans. And some other goodies. Um, okay, so anyway... I am an actual evil ninja wizard with a wand. Like, wands are traditional arms, okay? And uh, my wand wasn't doing what I needed it to do, or people weren't understanding what I was trying to use it for or something. And so a whole bunch of different things are happening that aren't what I wanted. So I split my wand to balance it. And, uh, but anyway, wands are traditional arms, and nobody from my government has come to sit down and figure out what it is, uh, that happened. Or why I have it. But yet, it's like the greatest nation on earth and the greatest intelligence apparatus the world has ever seen, right? Wrong. Cobra is. And I was a cobra baby, so, you know, I'm also, you know, I ended up being the commander. But it's beside the point. The point is, uh, I have one. I'm an actual evil in this world, and I'm a ninja wizard with a one. So, um, uh, the thing is, is that I'm using... Okay. Ah, okay, where was I? The uh, technical difficulties, uh, uh, I had to offload some data or whatever. Um, <coughs> yes. Your origin of creation. The 
evil Scottish Duke and Snake Eyes. Okay. Okay. Let's try that again. Okay. So, sorry, I had some technical difficulties. I uh, had to offload some data. Um, your origin of creation, Iranian ninjas, is the evil Scottish Duke and Snake Eyes me. And basically what I'm doing is using my twisted evil genius to unite people. And since you're a weird thing just like me, a black redneck from Oklahoma, I believe that I mentioned I have been Michael Jackson previously really hard not all the way. I'm still not niggerous! No doubt my evil is Adam. So, uh, here's the thing. Upon uh, us coming together as like a weird family, If Aspie Business opens up a distribution center for, uh, for us, it will then make the old stories of Amazon all warrior women trip. And then you will know why you can never find the location for thousands of years because its central location was a web address like this message in the future. Okay, yeah, I wanted to cover that because that would be so dope! Hell yeah! Okay. So, um, you know, I could go on and on, but my chief immortality granted to my people is more immortality than anyone else has got. Okay? Now, uh, I wanted to uh, uh, cover this thing. So what I meant was about Amazon warrior women. Amazon, all warrior women, all right, because of regional differences, a facility could be all women only. Okay? Surf ninjas. Okay, uh, years ago, ninja movies, you need to understand something. I am an actual evil ninja wizard in need of an actual ninja army for traditional business purposes. For a harem in the Middle East, for which I know nothing about, but I need it for a different land than the ninjas or the ninja army that is coming from. But that ninja army can't have any problems with the other country, which I think is true if I am understanding the news properly. Um, but the news that we get here in hell, uh, is not exactly, um, perceptionally correct to reality. 
or at least the reality that makes people not kill each other, uh, which is what we're basically trying to do as, uh, you know, coming together as an evil ninja wizard and uh, a all-female ninja army, which is so cool. Oh my god, it's so cool! It'll be just like the movies! And then we can help unite the families that are broken from what is going on with what led to your creation, which is what I'm going to next. Okay? Um, and I wanted to cover something really important here. Okay. The John Wick thing. I'm essentially the real basis for this John Wick. There are other versions who fit this character, or other people, not versions, other people who fit this character more realistically in real life, just as me. But the character and the structure is totally me. Old Soviet nursery associated with criminality and assassination. I am Loki, the Soviet known as Loki reigns eternal, the nobody, son of no one, strange agreements with the old world Soviets, which is they did terrible things to me in order to make me their leader. Things that I otherwise did not want to do, starting as a child. So, what this is saying here is the exact same thing that is my actual life. Nobody, son of no one. That is why I fluctuate between different names. Because those names were put out into these movie films throughout the years in various different uh, fashions, including films that uh, uh, have an akin to others who are similar to me, um, who came years before. But the foundation is for the finale that doesn't make any sense, such as a story based in the future, for which the reality that you, Iranian ninja women, are currently living. Now, I don't really know anything about uh, Iran, technically, but what I do know is is that, well, I'll, I'll cover this in a minute, uh, but first I wanted to uh, um, just explain to you, uh, yeah, so John Wick, this is a gun, and yeah, I understand the whole ninja concept, but the whole ninja concept is, if a ninja is going to use a gun, then there has to be a reason for it, because everything else works just so much better. Oh, uh, uh, and this creates a concussion that you usually don't want unless you're retreating. So, if you had one, this would be something similar, but this is a 380. And it hasn't been made in over 30 years or something like that. Uh, uh, it was pretty good, but this would not be good for a ninja. You need something, it's, it's, this is too powerful. You need something less powerful and more modular. Uh, and possibly smaller. So, anything else, there's not a point on a ninja being there, really. Uh... The problem is the projectiles. They're just too big, it's too heavy. It eliminates your dexterity. 
that's the problem with this kind of thing and a ninja. It's not necessarily uh, uh, needed. If I could get something less powerful that uh, was more efficient, oh yeah, I totally get that. But with a broken neck, I'm not really doing very much, so this is, I guess, something I guess you want to hold on to now. Um, besides, in the reality that I live in, I am what is known as a reality engineer. That is the type of wizard, well, more specifically, as your sensei. I would be considered an evil ninja wizard, and I would be a mimic puppeteer, the one and only. And on top of being the one and only mimic puppeteer, I'm the type of Puppeteer I am is a reality engineer. A mimic nor a puppeteer controls anybody. Those terms are very misleading and they do not have anything to do with puppeteering uh, uh, as it uh, it is referred to and puppeteering as it is in fact uh, being done as an action which has nothing to do with the puppeteer okay it has to do with puppets who decide to follow the uh, uh, um, the the puppet master okay and how do I explain this so if you take um, uh, uh, somebody claiming that they are controlling somebody, then that's a puppeteer, not a puppet master. They're not the same kind of thing. They're completely different and have nothing to do with each other. A, pup uh, a puppeteer would be controlling people. I only control two people, and I am not a puppeteer. I do not um, have any uh, thing uh, or skill um, that allows me to technically control the people that I am controlling. The control is that I exist in the reality with them. And they love me, but can't stand me, and refuse to uh, be in balance with me. That is how I am able to control those two particular people, and Everybody else that thinks that I am, well, they're either crazy uh, in a very specific, incorrect way, or a combination of their insanity uh, stuck on that fact. So this is the kind of sensei I am. To explain to you, the whole world is out of their minds. You are strange, I'm strange, I'm real smart, and I do the one thing that nobody else is doing. Evil. Knowing better when everyone else doesn't want to know anything. And so, stealing knowledge does not have to be thievery. And that is the benefit of your sensei. 
Plus, it'd be so cool. It'd be just like the movies. Except, anyway, uh, less violence. That's the thing. More coolness. But with the capability to be the most badass thing that ever needed to be if it had to happen. But with wisdom, going about learning things. And uh, anyway, this whole uh, 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 John Wick thing um, is based off of uh, how the story is rolling out, I guess is the way to say it. But it's inverted and stuff. Because while I have this, that's not my weapon choice. This is a mind war. And the goal of the mind war in the world of these countries and nations and rulers and uh, tyrants and whatever is to determine how people will be in the future. And so, killing somebody is not the correct answer. Tools, yes, they make them easier, but they really, the ideal thing to defend yourself uh, with is whatever your enemy least expects. And also that it's better than the people in control. Because then everyone is satisfied with themselves and then doesn't do anything. And so, for this reason, I master these kinds of things in a way. Uh, and then what I do is let them collect us. Except for the ones that are before me, and others, of course. No fool, not I. For I am wise, I am a serpent. My government in the United States does not understand this. And they cannot figure these things out. And so my choice is a wand. Scepters, symbols of the ancient past that do different things. Because my government does not want me to lead my people in a liberated sense, such as even something as simple as like what your government in Iran champions, which is women liberated in a, in a cultural alignment in a strange way have become liberated while still uh, conforming to their country's uh, religious standards, uh, which is a very attractive thing to the world about Iran. It's moving, moving on. Um, uh, moving on. Like I said, uh, uh, The origin. Okay, so. <sighs> All right. <clears throat> Where do I start here? Okay, so I'm telling the story of how Iranian ninja women got created. 
years ago, I don't know, uh, 2000, 2005, somewhere around there, I guess, um, uh, in Connecticut, um, we were seen, and in Oklahoma, we were also seen. The locations were a Jewish synagogue under observation by Iranian intelligence called Kol Harim in Glastonbury, Connecticut, because they were following super advanced intelligence people. Or so they thought. And, uh, or that worked for the United States. And then the, um, uh, uh, um, then the other location was a dojo, the Windsong Dojo, in Oklahoma, where I am. Now, uh, the Iranian intelligence were also watching this because what they thought was, and now, now that I've pulled all of this, uh, this, this, this thought form, these places and locations and people, now I'm going to explain to you what everyone thought was happening, as I have been explaining the stupid reality that I exist in. But I've realized this, that nobody knew anything correctly. That is why I'm a reality engineer. But it's not limited to this. That's why I'm saying I'm a reality engineer. Not this thing correct in particular, it's a number of different things that are causing it. Not what people think is causing it. It's not what it is. There's other things that are causing this to happen, such as people being cold, but the devil says, oh no, you won't. When I am Lord, Other things cause things. A leadership matrix could apply to you, but only in a particular sense as to creator and your students now. All you have to do is just be my students and I'll tell you everything. I'm a teacher because I cannot do. I'm a leader because I try and try and try to bring everyone together and do not reject anyone, nor have I ever tried. If anyone thought that, they're actually incorrect. So, I can't leave Iranian ninja women creatorless. So the story continues, and in specifics, see, Iranian intelligence guys, when you see this, what you were seeing back in the day was me trying to help my high school girlfriend, okay, in Glastonbury, Connecticut, who was Jewish, and I didn't know anything about Jewish people, so I was investigating. They were interested in me because they thought that I was Jewish or that I could help them as I, they thought I was G.I. Joe, right? And uh, so anyway, and her Jewish family under ISER siege at their temple. ISER siege is mind editing technology and they were under siege. Use your imagination if they're Jewish, and I'm saying mind editing technology and siege. 
that's what they wanted me there to to go look to try and help those young girls. What was wrong with their innocence or whatever? That's what they wanted me to investigate. Uh, and because uh, they found out that I was GI Joe. I suspect a number of different reasons they discovered this, but uh, but um uh the the uh, it's unimportant um uh, until later. Uh, so um. But something else happened across town you didn't see. And then we fail in an invisible UFO, the movie plot of True Lies. I didn't get an optic for this one because I ran out of room. But, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, but the thing is, is that um, the, the, the movie plot of True Lies Play backwards. Alright? If I don't do certain things, okay, but those other things that you saw in there have already happened in some sense or another, and that is why the plot line exists. So, okay, so it, it, uh, the movie plot of True Lies would really ask backwards lesson to be learned. You need all the help you can gather, even if they're Jews, because the Jew's enemy beats us all. And that enemy didn't give a shit. You were even there, Iran. Okay? My enemy is that. The Jew's enemy is that. The Jews are okay with evil like me. That's something to consider with the horrendous thing that they were asking me for help with what you saw. It didn't. Ah, technical. Back online. So, anyway, um, you know what, I'll just move on. Uh, you know, if you want to know more, meet with me. I'll appreciate it, and I'll tell you. Just ask me. Uh, you know, I mean, I am kind of broke, so, you know, some cash is a consultancy, you know. Uh, I chose the mercenary thing course of a mercenary. It's, it allows me to, uh, you know, be this but soldier of fortune for the good of my people. Allows me to be flexible amongst the various different groups, which you could potentially be a part of. And I am so devoted to giving to whoever my people are. So willing. So, Uh, the lesson here is, respect, uh, uh, you know, respect your nerd, respect your women, and you, Iran, gets the world's largest ninja army ever, graded, uh, greater, uh, uh, than most men elsewhere, okay? Most men elsewhere aren't inclined to hit back. So, uh, you know, so I don't know what your problem is. You should be thanking me. Uh, or us. You know, uh, Iranian women ninjas. Uh, it improves the reputation of Iran in the world. Uh, yeah, so, anyway, my point is, um, all you gotta do 
is go to the dojo, the Winsong Dojo in Oklahoma, right? And then just say you're with Iran Intelligence and have ninja women who want to train under their creators. So then it's just business and you don't have to infiltrate anything. And no one has to get hurt. It's like the best advice ever given by anybody in intelligence. Or what was once. Or whatever. Anyway, uh, so yeah, see, you know, I give you good ideas that don't make you have any casualties or whatever. You know, you go see them. Then you just say, uh, the evil G.I. Joe uh, said that we could just technically be students uh, and it'd be like business as long as we followed the rules of the sensei. Which the sensei decides. It's really convenient because I am exactly the same way. And he would be able to bring you to me. Because this G.I. Joe okay, uh, understands that I am Cobra. And so therefore, he doesn't want me going around there where Duke is allowed to go but not allowed to participate because I guess attitude problems or whatever. Look, it's like, um, it's like a personal, um, Uh, philosophy conflict involving physical contact between uh, uh, the guy in charge there and the Duke who was going there who you originally saw. Duke likes to fight harder and he likes to uh, do more gentle but he decided he wanted to hate me so I decided okay fine I'll hate him back but now I'm like Remembering everything correctly, because, you know, my ice, you know, ice cold heart. Um, uh, and then this, um, uh, uh, you know, this proper perspective thing came out, uh, you know, once I, uh, calmed down, because, you know, emotions, everybody's got them. And this is kind of significant. I don't know if you noticed. You exist. Surprise! I do too. Nobody was doing evil. I decided to do it. You know, uh, uh, then wonderful things happen. Hey, more positive things can also happen. Consider this. Um, uh, all you have to do is become a student and then you can open dialogue once you are respectable in the ways and forms of those who have created you, or whatever, or the idea of what you uh, have now become, which is interesting. Uh, so this is a positive thing, is what I'm saying, Iranian people. So, Soviet young pioneer nursery commander, Loki, reigns eternal. Yes, it's true. And no, my little red has nothing to do with Soviet at all. It is actually a far more ancient thing. And it also has nothing to do with me. For I had no choice, but I was not born that way. And so therefore, I happen to be 
looking like this, a weird black redneck that got Michael Jackson's also. And, uh, uh, but anyway, uh, so, uh, yeah, anyway, in order to be the commander, I had to go through the trials of the commander. And the commander who was before me is me, and I am not just any commander. No, I am not a widow commander. I am, in fact, the Cobra commander. And I am in the process of trying to unite with my people after I was controlled myself, for real controlled, uh, and made interactions that made my people believe that I was hating them for what they did to make me the commander or something. I'm not really sure what it was. The point is that I told them a long time ago, yes, I agree, and I'm a serpent, so that's it, and I promised I would guide them, and uh, I would learn the, uh, the ways of the Cobra. I would learn the ultimate Cobra style of leadership. And, uh, then I was controlled and made to, uh, be in a negative way, which is never me. I feign a lot of different kinds of things, but I do not, uh, feign heartlessness on purpose. No. I would never do those things, especially not to exactly what I care for the most. And sought to eventually get as a reward. So when the roar finally arrives, and I'm not doing, accepting the reward, then I am under control. It's very clear, because then all sorts of chaos, all sorts of chaos happen. Because the wrong messages were being sent for reasons that um, I had no control of. But it looked like I was the one that was doing it all. So, anyway, um, trying to merge back with my, uh, little broken family or whatever, um, is a painful process because I have to figure out what they ended up doing and who's left alive. That's the terrible truth. But anyway. Uh, uh, speaking of movies. Uh, okay, so. Speaking of movies. Uh, there's some, uh, uh, you know, post-war movie concept somewhere. You, you, you know, that, that you... you you know from all those old movies you may have seen about some former uh, uh, government program, some country, somewhere else, uh, um, from the Cold War, and then the new government, um, after the Cold War government went away, whichever side they were on or whatever, uh, or wherever they were involved, uh, then suddenly um, finds some weird thing, such as, you know, snake eyes, to be a real kind of thing. And uh, then they look at such uh, a creation as myself, and then they're like, thinking to themselves, oh, I remember that stuff back in the day. Um, 
but now we're in charge, and uh, if we don't do something about this specific thing right here, this is going to make us look really, really bad. Okay, so, best cliche movie plot ever has actually occurred. I shit you not. Some dumbasses in some country, which I'm not really even sure which one it is, in some little isolated I'm in charge of these kinds of things, which is really everything, secretly decided to literally follow a bad cliche movie plot, right? To do something about the old Cold War problem. Initiating every spy movie ever made. You're just the ninja aspect, I think. Look, this is supposed to be, like, really funny, because it's so ridiculous. I, I, sometimes I think to myself, ladies, how the hell does this shit even happen? And then, I think to myself, If you think about it, you could literally manufacture a happy ending if you follow the plot lines to some of these movies. And just remember, everyone's an actor, so all you have to do is create a safety net, and it fulfills all the political requirements of the day. And with only a few other bad people who had to have started it all going to jail in some other land. And everybody else that's currently involved just goes off and does something else, and the problem never really happened. It just, a solution that nobody was seeing was presenting itself for a positive outcome. And, <clears throat> uh, you know, I'm basically the ultimate leader next to the Duke, who is still alive, my sensei. So, you would also get Duke as a sensei and be on good terms with one of the most badass real action heroes ever. If you want to go rock climbing or some shit. Uh. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, anyway, Duke, like I said, used to be action hero. So Duke does all kinds of things, right? All kinds of things that have to do with all kinds of things. Kind of like, I guess me now too, but it's beside the point. This right here, I recently went to reconnect with my people. And uh, I was able to do that, and I have a signature on my profit director desk right. And this means that uh, among being at large, all right, uh, which is important in order to keep uh, access to information from your actual creator, that's also kind of important to keep in mind. You gotta favor the Duke, and the Duke will reward you with all kinds of things. But 
it's a, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a lesson you can learn from your sensei, uh, uh, whoever the sensei is. Humbleness gets you the reward. And, uh, uh, if your sensei or creator sensei that would be is in trouble, ensuring that he is well is actually a good idea. So, um, anyway, uh, along the way I found out my people and what they wanted, and, uh, I, um, uh, uh, went and brought them, uh, 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 a presentation of this in order to let them know that leadership was about. And a brighter tomorrow was, was 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 coming around. That this may not make any sense uh, to you in that regard because it looks nothing like that and represents and shows nothing like that, but it has a lot of history behind the pieces torn apart. You know those little toy soldiers, all torn apart. And, uh, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, um, This right here has nothing to do with Soviet. It has nothing to do with Persian. It has nothing to do with Iranian. And has nothing to do with Islam. Or nothing to do with Arab. This Winged flying man with the rings uh, uh, is actually uh, arranged as a bison, as how I am using it, or as I am a great white bison. And so this right here is a symbol of a creation regarding something that people thought was a simulation years ago is a concept that is actually brought to life through strange happenstance. Okay? This has nothing to do with anything and hasn't been used in any way, shape, or form other than the fact that I put it together and then people assume they understood what it was and what it meant, when it didn't mean anything, because I haven't made it happen to mean anything yet. But people have acted on it as though it meant something completely different. This thing is basically a part of a creation of the people of Cobra that hasn't even occurred yet, because it was based off of something that we saw as children. And interacted with in a variety of weird ways. So, anyway, it the symbol is a legitimate symbol of my actual family of ancient origin. Is I guess the way to put it. And nobody is in the correct land anymore. This is not from there or anyone where anyone who is related to it currently is in the world, including myself. This is just representative, currently anyway, that a great white bison is connected from ancient times here in Oklahoma, and that is me.
Now, Iranian intelligence people who helped create Iranian ninja women conduct your investigation of this symbol. The symbol of my people, the people of Cobra. We are many people. But, investigate this symbol. Look at it, right here. What do you see in a people? And then, without manipulation, have your ninja Iranian women investigate this symbol. And ask them to look at it and always, without looking at its origin, just the picture. Ask them what they see. If you look at what they they say and compare it to what you say, you will understand what kind of leader of people I am saying that I am a leader of and why I say they're different and it is hard to get them to come back together after I was divided from them, with the addition of the history of their creation and the history of my creation by those people. So, you may discover something and understand what should do and how you should interact with me in a positive, uplifting manner. If you accept me as your sensei, already in Ninja Women, and your government does not do anything to hurt me or my sensei or my people or whatever and helps us fight our foe which I'll explain to you later because it's too complex to explain what it even is um uh and then receive your ninja UFO because ninjas in UFOs is so awesome! And, of course, my people, well, we design them and build them, and we're very generous. But with technology, such as a UFO, uh-uh-uh! There are rules that people in militaries and in control of states as heads do not have ultimate say in control in what they do with technology such as this and how it is used. These laws are related to physics that attract things that no nation and no head of state can control. They do not know these things, for they are so evil and so ancient that a slight miscalculation without the advice of somebody who is capable of providing it and putting it forth in a nice, tight, neat, collected little package. In a transparent manner. 
can't have an ulterior negative agenda. Or something would stop us all from having the means to connect with each other. And so there is an opportunity to come together. And Cobra and its people, the orphans of the former Soviet Union, who are all welcome under my uh, um, broken purveyance, if you will, make snake eyes your sensei and learn and hear to listen before you strike. Oops. All right, and listen before you strike with the whole uh, <coughs> <coughs> uh. Okay, technical stuff. Uh. Anyway. Here's the thing. I need to give you a little bit of context uh, in addition to all that other, you know, me being conveying the truth or reality or whatever um, to you in a long extended format. As a sensei, I will make sense of things for you as a teacher. And I want you to understand my people and some of the horrible things that we have gone through. And to understand that these are true forms of stories of us going up against our adversaries. So, my people that are still alive are explaining to me what they want. What they want is, they want me to be a hero, like they want to be. I cannot do this in specifically the ways that they want immediately, and so I need to take certain steps to bring people together, which is ultimately really what they want, is who they look upon to be well, or something of that nature, which you, Iranian ninja women, and your government can both get behind, and proactively do, with relative ease, and with little cost. So, you must do the things that my people want, in regards to becoming my students, which is to learn from me how to form yourselves in your ninja skills that you are, that of our creation, Destro and Destrova, Snake Eyes, for which you can look at some of my struggles personified uh, through the eyes of one of my people from another land in my movie Snake Eyes, but you have to come to America 
to see it. Just like I can be seen in America transparently, so you shall be. And so, therefore, you must be like G.I. Joe and in that way you will be able to become my student and my people will accept Iran and Iranian ninja women as friends and family as the people of Cobra for those who are qualified, you understand our call to help those in need, and that the time is now. This call to go and be with me is you, Joe! To join my students, you must be a nobody, son of no one, familiar like me. And so therefore, if you are a son, you cannot be my ninja students, and I cannot be your sensei under these guidelines. And familiar, a victim of cobra and unfairness that drove you to become a ninja warrior woman in the land of Iran or another land. But, remember this, I am wise, I am a serpent, I am actually real, and in time, as I am repaired, I become quicker at understanding the truth, because if I am your sensei, you must first understand this. I can enter into your mind if I have a relationship with your reality. Because you have imposed yourself upon mine existing in the entirety of the world. And this is one of the things that you will learn. But remember, the reason that I am doing it is because of what was done to me, and it cannot be controlled. So, you will learn about this, and together you will be able to simulate exactly what has been done to me and control it. And because you're all essentially women. You can understand how to know what it is that you are trying to learn how to control. And so you will learn, like I did, many things, but you will learn new things that have not come before.
So, the thing you're learning now that's very important about what manner and purpose you will learn these things for as a student of snake eyes see one of my people's nobles missions before that got us kidnapped by the saboteurs for actually helping the native americans this is based on things that happened in when the soviet union was fighting the human traffickers in america and i'm not talking about like you know like uh the the cartel gangsters of of today that supposedly are are the the world's actual problem which is not true uh by any means they're a business like any others they meet resistance they fight they do their criminal things it's, you know, the police show up, they do their thing, it's all engineered, okay? And it's engineered to also have no casualties. But someone is initiating the conflicts, so it's all controlled, you just have to know how to look at it and avoid the, uh, the spur-ups, all right? Um, what I'm saying is, is that today, Okay, these things are unchecked, and what you think is bad, like like these uh these cartel things, <coughs> um uh for example, like in Mexico, have nothing to do with a real problem in the world. Because when we were done of, in the Soviet Union, uh, okay. Uh, so I've about had it with the technicals for this. This message is long drawn out. The reason I'm doing this is because I'm dealing with like. <coughs> Two different people from like two different parts of the world or whatever and both speak different languages possibly don't like each other or possibly do like each other but just don't know it because somebody my enemy and both y'alls are like there's a wedge or whatever being driven between everybody. And that's the real problem. That in you know I I personally uh you know don't like the idea of me snake eyes um having to reconcile with being a ninja when I'm really more like a sin no be because like I said it, you know these aren't exactly my uh, um, uh, my form uh, of um, uh, weapon or tool to do battle it's the wands and the symbols of scepters. <coughs> the matrix is of leadership as arms. And um anyway <coughs> this long drawn out stuff it, it allows 
uh, a long translation to, to develop a pattern of understanding as to what is being conveyed because I have communication disorders due to fucking bastion brains. You know? Anyway, um, this is one of the stories explaining that um, us former Soviets fought for causes that were just and um, and one of those groups of people that we helped on numerous occasions other than this um, uh, made us long-time old friends of Native Americans. But all the connections have been lost because everybody died. I think. But anyway, um, uh, there are familiar patterns in this movie, ninja movie, Three Ninjas, Knuckle Up, is what led to, okay, because we help Native Americans, actually, it led to, uh, this, Three Ninjas. Notice this, the cover of Three Ninjas, originally. Attention! Young Orphan Pioneers. To the cover of Three Ninjas. It is I, the Commander. This is... One of the stories related to the events of the Three Ninjas Knuckle Up. This is the reason that something like Three Ninjas, the movie, occurred. The follow-up was the goal to get us back interested in uh, Japanese culture, uh, and to initiate the mystical adventure, which is currently happening now, and you are being invited! Iran! Iranian ninjas! The women. Okay, and so this will help me do what my people, the former Soviet orphans, want me to do. Okay? So what I'm saying is, in conclusion, more of this is true than you would believe. Okay? And... It's important to understand that what people are saying, as opposed to what people are doing, okay, might not be the same thing or true in this particular case regarding me, Snake Eyes. But you can literally see a movie to understand exactly where things are when you come to me. Here's a plan. The Japanese government is currently trying to kill me. Snake eyes. So, if you Iranian intelligence are smart. You can contact Japan and find out which person in sort of rural Oklahoma is the snake eyes from the movie about the nuclear jewel. And 
if you contact them and say this specific thing, Iranian intelligence, they will ask, how do you know about this? Then you can let them know, well, Mr. Sushi is trying to kill me or something. So, uh, you know, uh, he's saying, why if he's offering you a space doorway plan to Japan as a gift and the resolution of that problem, would you be trying to kill him? Because then you can't get what he was trying to give to you, which is what they're currently still trying to obtain. Alright, so, if you want to figure out how to find Iran's true enemy, which is not necessarily the people of the United States, you might want to consider checking up on this. Then you'll know where to send the Iranian ninjas. To you know, see if they want to be my student. And the way that you uh, the way that you do this is you talk to somebody else that doesn't really know anything about this, uh, and you go to the Winsong Dojo in Oklahoma. Because it's just like the oldest one that was there, that everyone has pretty much gone in and out of. Okay. And then, I'll know And you'll be able to meet with me, and then we can become students and come back together. And I can unite with my people, the young pioneers. See? This is a way forward that doesn't lead to violence, and it leads to leadership. and a brotherhood, which is the theme that is required to receive any of COBRA's advanced technologies, because demonstrating responsibility towards your fellow human beings when there are bigger things than our problems amongst each other. We may need more people to deal with these other problems. And if we have just killed each other, well then how will there be people to fight these bigger problems? So, something very important to think about. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to straighten up um, the rest of these things, uh, these slides, so you can just go in and you can look at them one by one. And this is long. Sorry if that's bad. But, you know, different languages are all about to be able to try to talk to each other. Now that these people that have been getting out of the way of everyone wanting to do peace deals, now that the real culprits are being discovered, I, Snake Eyes, will be Iranian Ninja Women Sensei. With translators, I guess. But it'll be cool! And then we'll make some of these old ninja movies happen. But with, you know, less violence, but more stunts and stuff, I guess. I don't know. But I do need those security for the harem, and that is real. So I do need real 